I'm Lee Lambert. I'm from Washington, D.C., and I'm creator and owner of Naughty Bits Brownies. Naughty Bits Brownies is a line of six Epicurean brownies for the sophisticated palate. We wrap up deliciously bad brownies and send them for places they've never been before. All our flavors are packed with personality. I want people to enjoy playing with their Naughty Bits. Maybe not too much. You don't want to get in trouble. Our best seller, the man catcher, is at home in denim or diamonds. She's the all-American girl, but don't let her simplicity fool you. Her flavor runs deep. Geisha Girl is the unexpected love child of East meets West, with crystallized ginger, wasabi, and sesame snack bits. If you like your brownies the way you like your men, strong and dark, the rich blend of the barista bar is for you. He's studded with chocolate-covered espresso beans. We even threw in a shot of Kahlua, just because you're cute. Cabana Banana Boy is a hand-holdable fantasy with toasted coconut, dried bananas, and salted macadamia nuts. He's not the brightest, but who needs brains when you taste this good? Living in Sin is loaded with miniature chocolate peanut butter cups and topped with salted peanuts. Peanut butter can be a little awkward and chocolate can take itself too seriously, but when they shacked up together, they brought out the best in each other. Finally, one of our more unusual flavors is our bacon toffee brownie, the Shiksa. Don't try taking this babe home to meet Bubby, but chew the fat with the voluptuous gal and she'll have you believe in pigs can fly. I've invested $19,000 in Naughty Bits brownies and I'm seeking $90,000 in exchange for 40% equity in Naughty Bits. Naughty Bits brownies is a lifestyle brand. It's as much of an experience as it is a brownie. When I say it's going to go places it's never been before, I mean you're flying first class and the, the flight attendant brings you your cocktail and some naughty bits. Now that's what I call Mile High Club. You land for your vacation and go straight to your hotel where they have turned down service and there's a naughty bits brownie on your pillow waiting for you. How indulgent. You get to the spa for your treatment and you come out feeling rejuvenated and refreshed and on your robe is a naughty bits brownie. I've worked in almost every facet of the food world. I've been a pastry chef. I've worked in hotel and catering sales, helped design marketing campaigns for Crisco and White Lily Flour, and I was on the editorial staff of the Washington Post food section for five years. My love of chocolate has even taken me to Costa Rica for a tour of cocoa plantations. It would seem all roads lead to brownies. And brownies are just the beginning. Imagine ordering a wonderful lacy negligee for your honey and getting it wrapped with brownies to come for your special evening and finishing with a shower that you share a cocoa body scrub. There's so many places that this logo works. The brand extension's a natural fit. Building something that draws on all my past experiences is exhilarating. It's thrilling to have such an amazing response to my creations. I love seeing it take on a life of its own. Naughty Bits energy is edgy. I like being bold and uncensored. I'd much rather defend something I mean than say what I think people want to hear. While working at the Washington Post in 2007 in the food section, I wrote an article about what makes the best brownie. In doing that, I developed what I thought was the best brownie. When I went on maternity leave a few years later, I was looking for another path and I took my brownie up to a cafe, a local cafe, where a friend of mine had just opened her doors. She started carrying it, people started talking, and it got a much wider audience. Now we sell nationwide. I've spent the last year establishing the Naughty Bits brand. Naughty Bits brownies made its way to the red carpet this year, where they were included in the Oscar swag bag. They went home with Brad Pitt and George Clooney, just to name a few. We were also at the Playboy Mansion for their golf finals. And of course, bunnies love Naughty Bits. What makes me a great entrepreneur is that I have grit and determination to follow through on my big ideas. I've completed five marathons, including Fairbanks, Alaska, and I've traveled around the world on a boat, stopping in 13 countries and nibbling their cuisine along the way. I have finished my master's in gastronomy, which is the study of food and culture. And I've had 31 hour labor with my son with no drugs. So I think that counts for a lot of determination. So when it comes to creating a nationally recognized brand, I know what it takes. Imagine Naughty Bits Brownies as the love child of Mrs. Fields and Juicy Couture, inviting and delicious, but flirty and sassy.
Right now, the only thing holding me back from making naughty bits big is time. I wear all the hats. I take orders, I sell, I bake, I wrap, I deliver, I do all the marketing. What I need to do is pass the apron strings off to somebody else so that I can focus on the hundreds of ideas that I have to make naughty bits big. Building a brand takes a lot of time and attention, but brownie by brownie, stack by stack, I'll build the Naughty Bits Empire.